Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here again for another episode of Just My Opinion. I really do appreciate it. Uh, what this episode is about, of course, it is another box office update, another box office breakdown. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. I do apologize about this video being late. Um, it was dang near impossible for me to do the video yesterday. Um, you know, if I wanted to get any sleep and just a number of other things that I had to take care of. And I was like, ah, I was going to do it. But I was like, no, you need to do this. You know, you'll do it tomorrow. So I do appreciate your patience. I would do these on Sunday, but um, Sunday is not the actual numbers. It is the estimated numbers, which change. I may do it both days, but I'm probably going to be doing Infinity War on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. But I, I'm going to talk about that towards the end of this video. But let's go ahead and get into these box office results. Um we had two new releases that came out. We had Rampage and Truth or Dare. If you haven't seen the films, uh, you sh should. You should actually see both of them. I had to think about that real quick, but I like both of them. I like Rampage more. Subscribe to my channel. Go check those out after you watch this video. And then, you know, you got you uh, two more pieces of entertainment. But the first movie that was uh, on the top of the list for the box office, we're going to go through the top five, uh, we're not going to go through the top 10, is Rampage um, by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was really looking forward to this film. Um, it is a video game, a movie based off of a video game, not a movie about video games, but a movie based off video games. I talked about that all in my review. Um, and it actually had a decent weekend, uh, opening weekend at $35 million, $35,753,093 at 4,100 locations, 4,100, 4,101 to be exact. Now, um, the budget for that film was $120 million. So, you know, my rule of three, um, you always have to make at least at the very least three times the production budget to receive a respectable profit. So one twenty three hundred and sixty million dollars at the very least, excuse me, is what I would like for this film to do uh, for it to be successful. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be mad at four hundred million internationally right now. It is at one hundred and fifteen million worldwide, one hundred and fifty three million dollars. Uh, yeah, worldwide. Um, the film was directed by Brad Payton. Um, the reason why I brought that up is because that is the same director that did San Andreas, which The Rock was in, which came out when did San Andreas come out? 2015, I think. Uh, yeah, 2015. And uh, I, I brought that up for a reason now, uh, which I'll talk about in just a second. Now, as far as like, you know, it's kind of hard to compare. And usually, I'm going to be honest with you, I always follow box office uh, numbers and things like that. But I normally only pay attention to extremely small films or extremely large films like, you know, $180 million budget, you know, action, adventure, comic book, all that good stuff. You know, as far as the films that are kind of in the middle, you know, I'm not I don't pay attention to it too much. So as far as my knowledge and me comparing it to this and that, I'm not that knowledgeable. I mean, I'm, I know some stuff, but I'm not as, as knowledgeable as I am with other stuff. But this is fun doing it and I get to learn stuff and you can learn stuff with me, too. And so we're just going, uh, you know, grow together. Let's see where I'm at six months from now or a year from now, as far as the, the money is concerned. Now, as, as far as comparing something to another movie, yeah, we're going to compare that to uh, San Andreas. So let me, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin that tab there. Let me just open up another one real quick, a real quick like. I thought I had that up. And as much pep preparation as I do uh, with these videos, it's not, it's always something that um, I'm, I leave out. So San Andreas, which came out in 2015, directed by the same director. The opening weekend for that film was $54 million. This one was 35. What was it? 35? I forgot that quick. Yeah, $35 million. So that's that's $20 million less for kind of the same type of movie. As far as the budget is concerned, uh, San Andreas is $110 million. And, um, you know, uh, Rampage is one hundred and twenty. So that's kind of the same thing right there. San Andreas ended up making one hundred and fifty five million dollars worldwide. I don't know what the cinema score for San Andreas was or is. Uh, I guess I could. Where the, uh, here we go again. Y'all know I'll be having problems with my cursor. Uh, but the the cinema score for Rampage is an A minus. 
which is not bad at all. That means it's going to have good word of mouth, at least. You know, people that saw it Thursday night and Friday are going to go tell all their friends and family, and then people are going to show up on Saturday to go see it. The reason why we know that the cinema score is a true factor is because, um, I guess, the experts thought that A Quiet Place was going to come through and be number one again, but it didn't. So when the Friday, I think the Friday or the Saturday numbers came out, they switched their gears. I was like, oh, no, no, no. A Quiet Place is not going to be number one. It's going to be a uh, Rampage. So uh, I, I, I will put that towards the uh, the word of mouth, like the A cinema score. And what a cinema score is, is like a company or representatives that actually stand outside of the movie theater. Uh, you know, Thursday, Friday night, and they talk to people that actually seen the movie. So they know that it's not like a bunch of trolls going online, giving a false ratings and things like that. The uh, tomato meter for San Andreas was 50% for Rampage. Um, why is, are you serious? Why is this not on the, where is the, uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, um, the tomato meter for Rampage is 51%. So San Andreas got 50%. Rampage got 51%. Pretty much the exact same thing. The reason why I'm bringing all this up is the uh, critical uh, response for a movie gives the box office a 10% swing um, here or there as far as box office returns. So if you have kind of the same rating and, you know, same budget and things like that, you can possibly kind of expect where the movie will go. So the only movie I can really compare this to, if you know any other movies that I can compare Rampage to, please let me know down in the comment section. I'm not no guru. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know. But, uh, since it's similar to, uh, San Andreas and San Andreas open to, um, uh, 55 million, 155 million domestically. Uh, maybe uh, Rampage can do the same, but then again, I don't know because uh, Infinity War is coming out not this week, but next week. And uh, Rampage was supposed to be released this week, but since Avengers Infinity War moved theirs up from May 4th and 5th up to the 27th, Rampage was smart. Like, oh, hell no. Nah. We're not, we not going to compete with Avengers. That's biggest movie in the world. Uh, it's going to be number one. You know, it's going to break records, so they moved this stuff up too. So, I don't, when did a, uh, San Andreas came out? It came, it came out May 29th, so that was kind of in the heart of kind of the beginning of the summer season. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to look up right now um, what else opened up at that time, but that just gives me practice for later. So I, I want to say that Rampage is going to get to 155 million, but I doubt it just because, um, well, fans are coming out saying this strong. I, I wanted to make at least $100 million, $100 million. That is domestic, $100 million domestic. Maybe it'll make 120, 130, but I'm not going to give too much hope. I'm, I, I, I'm just not going to put my expectations in it, even though I wanted to. Uh, worldwide, San Andreas came in at 473. So I said 360 for a Rampage, which is a little more than $100 million less. I said I would be happy with $400 million, but, uh, you know, uh, San Andreas was profitable. So we're going to just see how um, how Rampage is going to turn out. Also, something that I want to look at with The Rock is just all of his other films as well, because believe it or not, guys, um, the term movie star is becoming less and less each day. What do you mean, Brandon? There's no such thing as movie stars anymore. That's coming less and less each day. I know movie stars. I know Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson Will Smith, Tom Cruise, and I can go down the list. What I mean by that is, as far as uh, um, back in the day, I remember especially in the 90s, or, or in the history of film, really, you take a popular name, you put them in a movie with a bunch of other no-name people, it was going to make a buttload of money just because of that person. That is not the case anymore. Not even with Steven Spielberg. I mean, all Steven Spielberg's movies don't make a lot. Ready Player One, for example, which we're going to talk about in a second. So it's really just the franchise now that's most important. You can especially look at Star Wars and all these Avengers movies and things like that. When these actors, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr., when they're in these Marvel comic book adaptations, they make buttloads of money. But then when they go and do their other movies to the side, they don't make as much. So that's just an example uh, of what I mean. But going back to Dwayne Johnson, okay, Rampage, we're talking about that now. Jumanji, uh, which is doing freaking fantastic. 403, uh, where is the damn curse? There it is. $403 million uh, domestically uh, since like 900 something. Yeah, 954 worldwide. Now, 
nobody expected that. People were probably like, okay, hey, if it makes 400, 500 million worldwide, that's great. And that would have been great. But this is crazy. They, I mean, they need to go ahead and announce a sequel. But can we really say that The Rock led this film? Uh, yeah, you can. But at the same time, everybody else, Karen Gillan, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, they are popular names too. So, you know, he can, we can say he led it a little bit, but, you know, Kevin Hart and Jack Black and, uh, Karen Gillan was right there. But next what we have, Baywatch. That did not do well at all. So um, even with The Rock, the budget for that was $69 million. It made $177. Um, so it may, it may have been a little bit profitable. Times three, 69 times three, 207. Didn't make my three thing, but, you know, that, that was critically paying. I like Baywatch. I don't know why my voice got so high either, but I like Baywatch. I did, th I did that on purpose the second time. Uh, but no, I, I really, I, I like Baywatch, but nobody else did. So, okay, Baywatch, The Fate of the Furious. Okay, we know those do well, but The Rock, he doesn't, th that's an ensemble cast. You know what I'm saying? So, Moana, okay. We got Moana that came out in 2016. Man, that seemed like yesterday. $643 million worldwide, 248 here in the, uh, in the States. Uh, the budget is not provided right now on Box Office Mojo, which I'm looking at. Uh, I don't, uh, it'll take me too long to go look. So, Baywatch and Moana really, you know, Central Intelligence with Kevin Hart, $50 million budget, $216 million worldwide. That's great. You know, but two, you know, 127 domestically. Okay, that's fine. But that's fine based off the budget, which is so cheap right now. You know what I'm saying? But that's, you know, between Dwayne and Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart. So, and that's in 2000, June 2016. Then we're talking about San Andreas before that. Uh, Furious 7 and then Hercules just came out in 2014. Which, that movie was horrible. Uh, $100 million budget, $72 million domestically. But that was kind of when The Rock was getting, uh, kind of, you know, getting in his fold or whatever before The Fast and the Furious or right after that. So I say all of that to say is it's like, okay, with all this information that I've just provided, while The Rock may be one of the most popular movie stars right now, that still does not necessarily guarantee that if you put him in a movie, that it's just going to guarantee money, box office success. That's just not the case anymore. And I said about the franchise. It's more about the franchise now. You can you possibly can consider Rampage a franchise because it is based off something. But at the same time, this is a game that came out in the late 80s, early 90s, and they kept having reboots and reboots. I'm not going to go all the way to 2013 and all that good stuff. I think you guys get the picture. You know, San Andreas came up. Um, yeah, Fast and the Furious 6, 2013, Pain and Gain. Uh, you know, G.I. Joe Retaliation, Snitch. Um, you know, yeah, G.I. Joe did okay. Um, 130 budget, 375. But anywho, enough of The Rock. Um, I like the guy. He's fantastic. And uh, I want him to run for president. I'm joking. That was a joke. It was a joke. Next on the list is A Quiet Place, man. Now, this movie right here is doing crazy. $32 million. $32,970,049 at 3,500 locations. Uh, it only dropped 34%. Um, because of the good word of mouth, it had more theaters, 81 plus more theaters than it did the previous weekend. Uh, right now, let's, let's get into this real quick. The budget was only $17 million. $17 million, man. And right now, it, it, it made that back already. It is it is well over in proper zone right now. Was that 17 times uh, 3? Was that 51? I think I did the math the last video. Yeah, uh, they just needed $51 million to make a respectable profit. And they over three times that. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, this this is, um, you know, world, right now, domestically, it is at $102 million worldwide. Uh, wait a minute, who... Now, John Krasinski starred in the role and he directed this. Um, I forgot the company who, uh, A Quiet Place. I know this ain't no, uh, I know this ain't no Blumhouse. I'm looking it up right now. I know it's not. I forgot what it is. Is it Universal? No, wait. Is it? Where, where are you at? Where are you at, uh, production company? Platinum Dunes. That's right. That's Michael Bay's uh, production company. Pr Platinum Dunes and Paramount. And of course, we know the Paramount and Michael Bay are like that. But John Krasinski was in that movie 13, 13 Hours of Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. So he works for Michael Bay before. Michael Bay is Bad Boys 1 and 2. Um, Pearl Harbor. All the Transformers movies. The Rock. I don't want to look it up. I want to do this by memory. 
Uh, the movie with the clones. Okay, third. I'm done. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't remember everything. But uh, guys, the Quiet Place 17. Okay, first of all, if you haven't seen the Quiet Place, go see it. Great movie. My mom didn't like it. I was like, Mom, I cannot wait for you to go see this movie. It's this one part where I can't wait to talk to you about. She got all giggly on the phone, like, ha, 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 I can't wait to see it. You know, <laughs> that's how we are. Especially like when it's when we like my mom's a movie goer. She goes, she goes at the very least once a week. Um, you know, average twice a week. If she don't go to the movies at least once a week, something's wrong. Uh, like her legs are broken or something, or she ran out of gas. So no, she didn't run out of gas. But when we go see movies, or it, like sometimes we go together. We need to go to. It's been a minute. But when this, if she sees something before me or vice versa, Brandon, I cannot wait for you to see this movie. I ain't gonna tell it to you this part because I don't want to ruin it. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me get an actual phone. I don't want to ruin it. You know what I'm saying? But it's this one part. I just thought it was so great. I cannot wait to see if you can pick out the exact part I'm talking about. I like for real, mama. You know, I actually look for real. But like we we do this, so she didn't like the quiet place. But go see it. But uh, seventeen million dollars. Uh, it, it's right now at one hundred and fifty four million dollars. That's just freaking incredible. Um, since John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are married in real life, a lot of people are like clamor like, hey, since there's a chance that we may get the Fantastic Four back when the deal is done with the Marvel slash Fox, you know, beginning of uh, summer two thousand nineteen at the earliest summer 2019 at the latest how about john krasinski and emily, emily blunt come in fantastic four they can be the first family i think that's perfect perfect casting perfect acting i mean great across the board so um there we have a quiet place let me let me go back here let me look at something now quiet place come um comparing that to split and the conjuring split's budget was nine million the conjuring was 20 million uh Split ended up making one hundred and thirty eight million dollars domestically, conjuring one thirty seven. Uh, Quiet Place is already at one hundred two, so it's gonna bring in a, probably another twenty million this weekend. It's not gonna have a, a big drop. Uh, opening weekend for Quiet Place was fifty million, Split forty million, The Conjuring forty one million. Those films was rated R. I think a Quiet Place is what are you rated? P. It's right. It's like right there on my face, and I can't see it. Yet, right there, PG thirteen. So. Um, uh, so a quiet place is probably going to make maybe 175 domestically, which is freaking fantastic. All right. Coming in at number three on the box office is, excuse me, truth or dare truth or dare that this movie got crap reviews and all that good stuff. I enjoyed the movie for what it was. I thought it was a neat concept. I was actually interested. I wasn't sitting there watching it like, okay, this is the best thing in the world. But I was like, damn, like, this is interesting. Who is going to die next? How are they going to die? How are they going to beat this? How are they going to beat the game? Like, I was intrigued and wanted to find out. The, the film drew me in. But it brought in $18 million. $18,667,855. Let me go back real quick. Uh, 3,000 theaters, 3,000 locations. Uh 3029 to be exact. Uh, worldwide, it's at $22 million. Uh, this is a, uh, a a Blumhouse production, production, Jason Blum. And it's like, man, Jason Blum, he makes these movies for dirt cheap. And it, he makes his money back in profit just by default. He just plays with the numbers. Like, even if this movie sucks, he, he was able to say, okay, even if we make this movie... Every fan comes out of the movie saying that this movie is trash. Every critic comes out of this movie that says that it's trash. It will still make money on default. If we market it correctly, there is still going to be enough people in the country. And I just found out, I think like Canada is part of the domestic box office. I got to double, uh, I got to find more sources on that. But it's going to be enough people that are going to go see it and it's going to make it's money back on the first weekend or second, just by default, just because people out there just want to see it off curiosity. And that's exactly what it did. $18 million is not a lot of money, but the budget was three and a half million dollars, three and a half million dollars. Like what? Yeah, I don't have three and a half million dollars, man. But if I, you know, if I did, I wouldn't mind. Well, you know, that's still a big risk. I want to hang on to that money. But I think you get what I'm saying. Now, as far as Get Out is concerned, that is a uh, Jason Blum, a Blumhouse production, too. The budget for that movie was only four and a half million with Jason Peele. Um, Split, 
is a Blumhouse production. This Insidious, Amityville, uh, Ouija, Origins of Evil. I think I saw that in the suck. I'm done with the paranormal activities, you know, so I got to give it to him, man. The Visit, that was like a budget with a M. Night Shamhammer. We call him, I know it's Shyamalan. Shamhammer is a joke. It's somebody in the comments. It's called Shyamalan. I know, but uh, The Visit with Shamhammer, uh, which came out in 2015, I think they had a $5 million budget. Yep, $5 million. Ended up making $98 million worldwide, 65 domestically. So Blumhouse, they got that formula. They, they just like, we're making these baby profits. I'm a little millionaire, and that's all that's fine with me. Um, it, it's crazy how um, you know smart he is, but you know he, he got that down. So that's true to there. Ready Player One coming in at number four at eleven million five hundred nineteen thousand three hundred eighty-eight dollars. Uh, guys, I'm just let you know I may not go to the top ten. Well, um, so the budget for Ready Player One I think was one hundred and thirty million. Ready Player One. I should have. I should have already had this pulled up. But sometimes, you know, you can't get all your information from one site, but I'm not too familiar with that other site yet, just to be. So the budget. Oh, snap. OK. And the budget was one hundred and seventy five million dollars for um, Ready Player One. So. Five twenty five. So to make three times the budget, Ready Player One would need to make five hundred and twenty five million dollars. And it has a strong chance of doing that. Um, you know, we got all we got this weekend, uh, which I think we got traffic, Super Troopers 2 opening up. And I feel pretty. I, I'm filming this Tuesday. I saw I Feel Pretty last night. I like the movie. That's all I'm going to say because it is under embargo until Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's when my review will be up. There's a screening for Super Troopers 2 tonight, which I don't care about seeing. I don't even remember the first one, and I got some other stuff to do after I film this, so I'm not, I'm not even going to see that. There's no screenings for traffic, so I'm going to see that Thursday night uh, normal crowd, which is great because it's, it's just a different interaction. Uh, I, I just said all that to say what the competition would be. So there's no – all these are counter-programming. Traffic, uh, Super Troopers 2, I feel pretty, then like a, like a Rampage or a horror movie or Ready Player One. So right now, Ready Player One is at 476 worldwide. So it just needs to make about 50 million dollars worldwide, uh, you know, to you know, so Steven Spielberg can keep making great movies because you know, just pay attention to the box office. I mean, I remember when the studios gave Steven Spielberg a hard time to make Lincoln with Daniel Day Lewis, and um, you know, it just you know, just because he's one of the greatest filmmakers doesn't mean that his films always make a ton of money. You know, a lot of it, I mean, but, you know, Spielberg been in the game for over 30 years. So coming in at number five is Blockers. Number, uh, it had a uh, nearly a, a 47% drop, $10 million this weekend. Right now it's at $54 million, $21 million budget. So it just needs to get to a $63 million worldwide. So about $9 more million dollars. Uh, I mean, that's just a, I'm not saying that if a movie makes three times the budget already, I'm sorry, always automatic is it's going to be profitable no i'm not saying that that's that's just like a you know like a standard baseline to to look at you know i mean no actor actress or director can have any type of uh negotiating skills or budgeting power or leverage unless majority of the filmography the films grossed at least three times the budget that that should just be a minimum if you can you can have that then that's when you can try to start making demands like oh no i don't i don't like that i, li I want to do it this way you know what i'm saying but that's a bare minimum uh so that's blockers right there uh number six is black panther baby uh sorry for screaming uh brought in another uh i need to go back because i just messed it up brought in another uh uh, five point seven million dollars, another thirty three percent drop. All of Dodds came in at number seven, five another five million dollars, five point four. I can only imagine came in at number eight with another four million dollars. Tyler Perry's crap fast. I don't feel to say F word. Tyler Perry's Acrimony the Suck Face film, another three point six million dollars. That came in at number nine. Right now it's at thirty nine million dollars worldwide. Uh, I wonder what country it opened up. What, what country took this movie? Aruba, Jordan, South Africa, South Africa, and United Arab Emirates. Um, so it, the budget for that was twenty million. It needs to get to sixty, but who knows? I don't care. 
Uh, and then Chappaquiddick, I don't even, yeah, I heard of that, but that that brought in that's a uh, eleven million dollars right now. Is this is that a wide release? Is that limited? I think this is somewhat wide. But going back to Black Panther, because that's what I care about. It brought in five million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand eight hundred ninety-six thousand eight hundred ninety-six dollars. Uh, domestically right now it is at six hundred and seventy-four million dollars. 674, 6, 674, 668,555,000 right now worldwide is at $1.35 billion. So that's what's up. Now, uh, what will Black Panther make? I wanted to make 700 million domestically. I just wanted to have that. It's going to be close, y'all. It's going to be super duper close. Uh, it has this month, I mean, this week. Next week, too, Avengers Infinity War, but maybe people will go flock to see that. I mean, I want to go see Avengers again, and then Black Panther, I mean, Black Panther again, then Avengers, Avengers, I can't talk, Avengers Infinity War again. Uh, so, we're going to see. Now, this video may be over 30 minutes, oh well. Uh, the reason why I don't want it to, because it does something with the editing that makes it much harder, and... You know who likes difficult editing. Now, when I when I do my showdown versus Star Wars: The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, Star Wars: The Last Jedi, Black Panther. Now, in the last few days, last few times I've been checking in with me, I was telling y'all that the last week that you know Black Panther was winning day to day to day, like the past eighteen days um, of its release. At that time, it was beating all those other films, like you know, in the thirty fifth day, etc., things like that. It's not the case anymore. So uh, it's, it's going to be really hard to tell what the film will make. And if you can look at my face, I lost the curse again, but I found it. So Friday, it beat all those films at $1.4 million. Saturday, it beat all those films at $2.5 million. Sunday, not the case. The Force Awakens took that at $2.5 million. Black Panther did $1.8 and then Monday's numbers, which is yesterday, The Force Awakens did 1.4, but Black Panther did 535,000. That's fine. Uh, I, 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 you know, that, that must have been some type of uh, special day for The Force Awakens that day, um, this far in week nine on this particular day for it to shoot up like that. But we don't know. But when I go, that's looking at the daily showdown. But when I look at this weekend, I still have a chance. It still gives it's. Oh, I'm just not looking at this now. It still gives me a, a chance that it may make that 700 million because week weekend five, Black Panther won against all those films, 26 million for the weekend. Uh, week six, Black Panther won 17 million. Week seven, Black Panther won eight, 11.4 million. Week eight, Black Panther won 8.7 million. Week nine, this past weekend, Black Panther did not win against those other four films. It had 5.77 million, which I just stated. The Force Awakens did 6.1. So to compare, the largest film that did in the weekend, the next week, the 10th week, was The Force Awakens at 3.9. Everything else is at 1.2 million for uh, uh, the Jurassic World uh, and its 10th weekend. Um Avengers, the first one, 2012, is 2.1. So I'm thinking that Black Panther may make around maybe two and a half million dollars next weekend. So I don't know, guys, if it's going to make the 700 million, but let's look at it about a week real quick. Uh, each, like weeks, week 61, week 71, week 81. 11, 11, the past, the past from. Let me pull up a calendar real quick. So the night is the 17th. So from April 8th to I think that's how to do it. April 8th to the 14th. Or is that no, April 9th until the 15th. Black Panther did $11 million. Uh, so if in the ninth week, see, I don't, I can't, I, that's just the thing about it, which makes this frustrating and also kind of fun at the same time, because you just don't know because in the ninth week, the force awakens did $9 million, but then you got, uh, uh 
God, I keep got to scroll up. Jurassic World, uh, three million, and then Avengers six million, and then Last Jedi two million. So I don't know. Um, let, let's. I'm gonna say seven million dollars for the week. So, guys, it may it may be right there. And real quick, you know, I gotta do the uh, injustice for inflation. Uh, real quick, I gotta do that because it's very important. Now. Domestically, as far as the money is concerned, Black Panther is uh, beating the Force, not the Force Awakens, but Titanic. Okay. Titanic is six. Let me just look it up instead of trying to guess. Uh, domestic. All right. Titanic is at 659 domestically, uh, and Black Panther is at 674 domestically, right? Uh, now. Titanic came out in 1997. That's 21 years ago. Our movie tickets was much cheaper then. And in 97, it made a rich, right now it's at 2 billion. Um, yeah, Titanic right now is at 2.1 billion dollars, 2 billion, 187 million. It originally only made 1.8 billion dollars. And I, I said only, I didn't mean to, like that's not a lot of money. But think about this guys, put this into context. $1.8 billion in 1997. This is worldwide. In 1997, when ticket prices was much cheaper. So, um, you know, that just goes to show just how still Titanic is kicking butt uh, domestically. I mean, world, wait, yeah, domestically, because domestically, adjusted for inflation, Titanic would have made $1.2 billion. In this country, domestically alone, that's just, that is if in 1997, if ticket prices were the same price that they are today, it would have made $1.2 billion domestically. That's crazy. So, adjusted for inflation, of course, going with the wind is, uh, you know, uh, number one, Titanic number five. Well, we scroll, scroll down to Black Panther. It is number 33. It would be so nice if it could uh, make the top 30 right before it is The Jungle Book, The Dark Knight. Uh, Thunderball is number 30. Marvel's The Avengers is number 29. But again, guys, this is adjusted for inflation, not regular or whatever. So 70, 705. So I don't think it's going to beat the Avengers 705 domestic, uh, domestic adjusted for inflation, but I would like for it to meet that number 30 spot. It's number 33 right now. Um, I do want it to make... Uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it's number 33 right now. I do want us to get to that number 30 spot to hold that. And uh, damn, well, I guess when Avengers Infinity War comes out, it's going to knock it back down to number one. I mean, the 31. But that's okay. That is all right. And when we look at the all-time, uh, when we look at the all-time box office results, uh, of course, Black Panther right now is at number 10, baby. Number freaking 10 right now at $1,315,000,000. Uh, number nine is Star Wars: The Last Jedi at one billion three hundred thirty-two million, and number eight is one billion three hundred and forty-one. La la la, one billion three hundred and forty-one million dollars. So it has a strong, strong chance of surpassing the Last Jedi and the Harry Potter movie. So my one last calculation, real quick. Let's let's just do this real quick. Like I just wanted to be exact. You know what I'm saying? Let me click over here. God, I need a I need to go to my control panel and make my cursor big. Okay. So we're going to oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Put the wrong number in first. Come on, B. Thank you for your patience, guys. I do appreciate it. Please keep your hands and feet inside the No, okay. What I'm doing is I am uh, typing up the um, the worldwide gross for the Harry Potter movie, and I just want to subtract the Black Panther figure, and I just want to get an exact figure on what this film needs to make. All right, find my need. We're on twenty-six million dollars, guys. Twenty-seven million. It's gonna round it up. Twenty-seven million dollars, not domestically, worldwide. That's all it needs to be get the number eight spot. Um, as a matter of fact, and since 
Black Panther opened up in Saudi Arabia. I'm up here looking right now to see if no, it's no, there's no information. It's probably on the numbers, but you know, I'll, I'll check that out for the next video. Um, anything else that I want to talk about real quick? No, I can't think of anything. I don't want this thing to be 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, guys, that is your box office results. Um, I will be back next weekend. And then after that, guys, we got Avengers Infinity War. I'm going to call it now. Avengers Infinity War is going to make $267 million uh, opening weekend. Two sixty seven. Only if it is as good as we all want it to be. If we all like, hold up, man, hold up. As it was off the chain, bro. Black Panther and it was in there. Uh, you see Black Panther and the Falcon and Ro Roar Machine back to back. Du -du 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 you know, it got to be that good, you know, for it to make that much, guys. But hey, guys, that is just my opinion. Um, that is just, you know, my numbers of me going over the box office results. Uh, did I leave anything out? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below and guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to another episode of my box office breakdowns and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace